welcome to Sanctuary of Style. I don't know about you, but I am so excited that summer is around the corner. I am a total summer baby. In fact, I tried to do the beach hair look for you today. I think I need to work on it a little bit more, but I am gonna give you some ways today to look your most gorgeous and fresh during summer. I grew up in the South and I know all too well what the humidity mixed with an oily T-zone can do for you. You can look like a grease pit. So I know my normal message is shine, shine your light, get your glow on. But today I'm actually going to give you 10 ways to kill the shine. Now, first of all, you need to wash your face properly. The way you wash your face in the summer may be a little bit different than the way you wash your face in the winter and the products you use. You've heard me rave about the oil-free acne wash by Neutrogena, the grapefruit scent. Anything that has salicylic acid and that's oil-free will keep your pores clean and take away some of the excess oil. So the first step is just to wash your face properly. Now before you get started, if you're going to wear foundation during the summer, now I hope that you don't have to, but if you really have to, the best way to prep your skin to keep it looking matte all day is to use a makeup primer. And I love this one by Arbonne. This creates a great canvas for your foundation or tinted moisturizer. It, it just makes your pores smooth, your fine lines, and if you have a T-zone, oily area, it really helps keep that looking matte. Now on a side note to that, the brand Boots, you've seen it in Target, they actually make an amazing shine control lotion. And obviously everyone realizes now that I've got like a movie screen forehead. So a lot of times on camera, I have got to do my best to keep my forehead from getting shiny. So a lot of makeup artists use a shine control mattifying lotion on my, on my forehead. So if you really have a problem with oily skin, try a shine control lotion. They work great. You're not gonna believe this, but I actually found a tinted moisturizer that I prefer over the Aveeno Positively Radiant that I always rave about. And that's because there's something in it with the summer and the heat. I feel like I wanted to change it up because I've had like some breakout lately. I found an awesome, awesome drugstore brand tinted moisturizer in an SPF 50 and it is by Physicians Formula. And I actually saved the box because I wanted to read it to you. But it's called Healthy Wear SPF 50. This is hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, non-irritating, dermatologist approved, not just dermatologist recommended. It's actually approved by the Skin Cancer Foundation. Uh, let's see, non-comedogenic and oil-free. It's awesome and I'm so happy I found it. You're gonna love it. Now I also wanted to find a great powder for that shine free look during summertime and I wanted one that I could just throw in my purse in a compact form and again Physicians Formula has an awesome one and it's mineralized SPF and usually you see those in the loose powder form but I really wanted something that I could throw in my purse and this one's amazing. It actually comes with this little baby kabuku brush instead of that you know, velour thing that you pat and it gets all disgusting and oily. Um, and the beautiful thing about mineral powders with SPF is at lunchtime you're running around, make sure you, you powder your face and what you're doing is you're basically reapplying your SPF. So, you, you know, SPFs wear off quickly. So you're always covered with your SPF plus you're getting rid of the shine. So this is just a dual one-two punch, love it. And the other thing is it's really cool. I am actually wearing the tinted moisturizer and this powder today. I don't even have foundation on. And usually when we shoot these webisodes, we have this really crazy HD camera that shows everything. So I use Makeup Forever HD makeup that really has heavy coverage, but this stuff, is all I needed today. So you ladies that think that you have to wear foundation during the summer, if you use these two products, you won't have to. How cool is that? Now the fifth way to kill the shine is rice paper blotting powders. And I prefer these. First of all, I just love how cute the package looks. And what I love is one side actually has rice starch. So it has a little bit of a powdery effect. The other side is just the rice paper, so you can just dab that, especially in the crease of your nose, 
and right under your lips and in the crease of your chin. You don't wanna keep caking powder on all day long if you're gonna be out and about. So these are a great way to kill the shine. So make sure you throw some of these in your purse. It has mineralized titanium oxide or what was the other thing? What was the other thing? Uh, 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 what was the other thing? 